Crews helping people in Missouri get out from under the wreckage. According to the Perry County Clerk, an apparent tornado hit the town of Perryville, about 80 miles south of St. Louis. And this video just coming into our newsroom of the devastation as well. Just hard to see home after home just ripped apart. The storm killing at least one person there. More than a dozen people sent to the hospital after storm swept through White County, Arkansas as well. The Red Cross has opened a shelter in that area and officials with the state's emergency management department says people are not allowed to assess the damage to their homes until at least nine o'clock this morning. And Megan, when the National Weather Service goes out, you said there are specific things they mm -hmm. look for as far as the damage goes to determine whether it was a tornado and how strong it was. Yeah, they have to look, they're going to look at the path, they're going to do aerial views to see. Sometimes they can tell if it was one tornado that touched up and touched down again, or if it was a separate system altogether, and they can determine that by looking at different clues. It's almost like piecing together a puzzle to figure out what exactly happened. The radar shows a certain thing, but the radar just indicates where there could be what we call a tornado vortex signature. You got to get eyes on it to see that there actually is a tornado. And then after the fact, you've got to get out and look and see exactly, um, you know, where the path is and how many tornadoes we did indeed have. What we're looking at is fog this morning. This morning out over our area roadways, you're going to have also a bit of ponding. So it's not going to be the easiest commute, not as terrible as other days, and certainly not as bad as if we were dealing with the intense storms right now. They have moved on past, and we're left with just a little bit of light rain and some uh, rain slash snow back on off to the west that'll slide through a bit later on uh, into this afternoon. We've got those seven tornado reports there, and those potentially, uh, we're going to see several tornadoes out of that, I suspect. We've also got reports of hail upwards of two inches in spots, and now we're looking at a bit of a cool down. We've got 41 degrees at Gary, 41 for Midway, 40 Aurora and McHenry, 38 degrees for for Waukegan and 42 around O'Hare. You can see the rain transition over to a little bit of light snow into the evening. Very minor accumulations from that. But another storm system, this one, an Alberta Clipper system, is going to slide through tomorrow late afternoon and right around the time for you to drive home, bringing us accumulating snow there. So in this night, we're going to pick up maybe a couple tenths of an inch there, a little bit, uh, maybe close to a half an inch up around the Wisconsin border. But then add the Clipper system into that, and we could have one to two additional inches on the ground. It may stick, but it won't stick for long because today, while it's going to be in the 40s, it will be rain to snow, breezy and colder. We drop down overnight tonight to about the 20s, but then for uh, your Thursday and Friday, we have rather cool days leading into much milder weather. Look at the weekend. We're going to be in the 50s and 60s going into next week. It's going to be a beautiful weekend with plenty of sunshine out there. That snow won't last long if it hits at all, Derek.